you for joining us today. My name is Art Humphrey. Here at FM3 Design, we normally focus on things in the shop, welding, manufacturing, fabrication. Well, today I'm doing a video for a friend of mine, Chris, who owns the Old Man's Shop on uh, YouTube. And if you get a chance, go visit it. It's the Old Man's Shop. Anyway, Chris has to run some new wire for his network and I wanted to show the easy ways to put the cable ends on in the correct way so that they seal and work correctly. So first thing is that we use ICC brand connectors. ICC is a major manufacturer but any good connector will work just fine. We're using, the demo we're using is the ICC Easy. So we'll um, pop it out of the bag. And it is the female connector that can go in a patch panel that has holes in it. Some patch panels come populated with the connectors already in them. And that, so we'll actually get into the wiring. Uh, 568 A and B, which is a popular computer wiring. Also too, we'll take and work through the, putting the ends on for the clear ends, the males. Now these are Paladin Easy connectors. Now they have both RJ5 and RJ6, and the 6 being a, a little thicker wire and a 23 gauge, and the Cat5 is 24 gauge. So again, the uh, standard wiring is the same on both. And then there's obviously wiring such as Cat7 and Cat8 that people we just don't use that because that's used in the data centers and. Obviously, we're not going to take it and do something in general for the data centers. So I'm going to go through this, setting this up correctly. The little tool I use here happens to be from uh, Amazon. And um, it's nothing real special. They're inexpensive. They come in 10 to the pack. Uh, they have a little knife blade here to take and cut the uh, cable jacket with without hurting the, the, the conductors. So I'll first I'll first mark the uh, cable on there, cut the jacket on the, uh, the direct burial. That happens to be the black UV rated one uh, as direct burial. Uh, it can be hung outside or buried in the ground directly, or you can do the other. So I'm going to put on the uh, regular end first. So I'll take and put, put down the first notch, give it a 360 turn, pop off the little jacket, bend the connector slightly, and then pull the jacket off. Notice there is a pull string. So I'm going to take the pull string and nip the pull string off flush so that that's out of the way. And then for the other end of the cable, when we're going to put on the female end, we'll use a shorter, probably about an inch and a half, where that's about three to four inches. Do the one, do the 360, break the jacket, pull it off, and then take the uh, cable and then do the uh, nip off the little pull string on it. So that's done. So what we'll do first is the clear end, the male end. So the wiring on, on all 568B, B is a Bravo, is white with orange, then orange, white with green, then blue, white with blue, green, white with brown, brown. So we'll untwist all the cables here and get them ready to go. Okay, we now have them untwisted and kind of set in, in kind of the color code route we want to use them. Mind you, I'm trying to rearrange these so they work a little, a little more uniform. One of the things I've learned over the years is just nip just a little bit off the end and then to put the ends on. So the very first two I put in is white with orange and orange. So I slide those through making sure that they're in the correct position. Now when I look I see that I'm one position off. So now i got to start over trying to, get them, trying to get them go through the right spot. And once it goes to the right spot, you look at it, there's little holes in the end. Now that is the Paladin Easy. Now there isn't the regular connectors that are not the Easies have it so that you have to nip it off just right left because it only goes to the end. 
the pallet needs to go through the end so you can actually pull through the end, bend the, bend the wires over and get them out of the way. So then the next one is the white with green. So you're going to do the white with green. That'll pop it through. Now, mind you, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but all of a sudden the next pair has to be blue. Because white with orange and orange is the transmit pair, and then the white with green and green is the receive pair. So those are the normal two pair that do the transmit and receive. Now, yes, there are, people can argue the fact there are, are the other ways of doing it, but that is the one that atypically those of us at, at uh, home user or small, small office user are going to use. Then the last pair, then I put the green one in, the last pair happens to be the, the brown pair. We call it brown because it's white with brown and brown. And so we put that through the, there. And, so, and sometimes it goes in really easy, and sometimes it makes you earn your, your stripes. So this one happens to be making me earn my stripes. So we'll, we'll get it though. Okay, they're in now. So basically, trying to get it so that the cable kind of comes up flat all the way so that the, the, the wires are kind of in, in, their, in their natural order uh, to, to take and flow down. And you simply pull the wire down and you want to get, and, and on the black one you got to squeeze it just a little bit so it goes in the, uh, in the connector. And then your, your connector is like that. Now easy way to do this is to spread it out evenly. So I take the brown over here, that's my first one, to the, on the right hand side. Now mind you, I'm looking at so the little copper connectors are facing me and the ends up. I can start on the left and do white with orange. Next one should be orange. Next one should be white with green. The next one should be blue. The next one should be white with blue. Next one should be green. And then white with brown. So that's what it looks like like that. So the connector is put together correctly. Now, the reason that you need to keep the pairs in that position for 5, 6, 8, B is that to twist the pairs, what they say, propagates or speeds up the signal. So you want to do that. Now, to take and trim this up, Paladin makes a regular set of cutters and nippers for it, crimpers, and that's what these are. So basically I'm going to put these in, in there, put that down in there so it seats all the way in, and then if you look at the back side there's a little cutting blade there, squeeze all the way down as far as it goes, and let go, and you end up with a little piece of cable here, dispose of those correctly, and you have a connector made correctly, so that if you look at the wiring it's definitely white with orange, orange, white with green, blue, white with blue, green, white with brown, brown. 568B. So now I'm going to do the other end. Now it's interesting because this connector is wired differently. Each connector will have its own set of codes. Now this one has A and B displaying on the connector. The only difference between A and B is that 568A, the primary pair 1 and 2, is green and the orange pair is 3 and 6. So that's the only difference. But we're going to wire it 568B, so the orange pair is 1 and 2. So we're going to take the connector, spread out the, the, the pieces. Now instead of starting out like we did the other one, on the one side working our way over, we're going to do this a little differently because the wiring will allow us to do that. So the connector is white with orange and orange, white with blue and blue, white with green and green, and white with brown. So now the easy way to do it is to take the blue 
and white with green and put them up there like that in the center. Put them down in the connector because you want the jacket to be just about even with the end of the connector. Use your fingernails, kind of push it down in. And presto, that's centered already. It makes it a lot easier to take and deal with. So then you want to take the, the white with blue, tuck it down in, and the green, tuck it down in, bend them sideways so that they're neat and out of the way. Then wind up, unwind the white and brown, tuck the brown in, white with brown in, and then tuck the brown in. Again, look at the connector. Color codes are right on the connector. Helps a lot. So I'm putting in the other two on the far side, which happens to be the orange pair, following the, the diagram. Now, if you don't have the, the, the tools to punch it down, you can get a tool called a punch tool. And this has to be a 66 connector for a 66 block. A typical telephone from the old days. One with little blades that stick up. Or we also have the 110 connector. Now, they do make the regular crimp tools for that, but instead of going through the crimp tools, which, I mean, I can't justify somebody spending the money to buy a crimp tool, when all you need to do is do, do it with a regular 110 tool and you can buy these fairly inexpensive, go through, punch down each one, and by the way, set it on, uh, on hard, not, not soft. Set it on high impact, not low impact. And just go through, hold it square to the world, press and it cuts off the wire, and punch it down in correctly. And then, you, and then just simply wiggle the wires so ever slightly and they'll come off the rest of the way because usually the little plastic jacket doesn't cut quite all the way through. And so that's what your connector looks like when it's done. Then you have this little cover piece that goes on it. Looks like that. Snap the cover on and you're done. So that gives you the ability to do a regular cable. Now, if you can't justify buying a regular crimp tool like this with a cutting blade on it for the easies and you want to use easy connectors they do have several of these that one is a little less expensive this is more than professional and since this is what you do for a living uh, you could actually crimp with a regular crimp tool and then use a, a very sharp box cutter knife edge or razor blade and just ca carefully cut the wires off individually making sure they don't touch each other because you can't have any, they have to all be independent. So that basically gives you the rundown of how to make the cable. Now that's the direct barrel cable. If you're using the other cable it's identically the same, it's just that the PVC cable can't be used outside or can't be exposed to the sun because it bakes and PVC absorbs water and it'll short the cable out. So if you're going to do anything that you're going to have exposure to water or sunlight Make sure you use the direct burial UV rated cable, which will take and protect you and uh, protect your investment. Because what it will do is it shorts out bad enough, it will wipe out equipment. And by the way, wiped out equipment is expensive to replace. So we have two kinds of cables, UV rated as well as the uh, PVC. Now they do make plenum, but plenum again, it's an indoor cable. Uh, it's not a UV rated cable such as a black cable is. So. Again, the 110 punch tool, a crimp tool for the male ends, the little jacket cutter, and then a pair of scissors, and hey, just a good cutters, good scissors, little diagonal cutters, whatever. Doesn't need to spend a lot of money. So, anyway, that's what it takes to do the job. I apologize it took so long to go through this, but I do appreciate you watching. Uh, have a good time, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Uh, we do fiber and everything else over on the other side called FM3 Systems. You can find out about us on fm3systems.com, 
all the different kinds of stuff, the software and hardware and everything else we do on the other side of our world, other than the FM3 design side. We appreciate your time. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.